Good morning, beloveds. Good morning. Listen, I want to talk to you real quick. It's going to coincide with my post that I just put. In a second, I'm multitasking. I love my coffee. You know what I'm saying? Make me some coffee. I got some coffee right here. Scared money don't make no money. And this message is for those who are entrepreneurs, business owners, right? But check this out. We're talking about Christian business owners, especially for those of us who are spiritual business owners. My business is spiritual. My business is spiritual. My ministry is my spiritual business. Catch that in the Holy Ghost. All right? My prophetic ministry is my spiritual business. So, there is nothing wrong with monetizing your spiritual, your, your business. First of all, if you don't monetize your business, you ain't gonna make no money. You're gonna be broke and you're not gonna prosper. So when it comes to the spiritual business side of things as well, a, sp a spiritual business, you must also monetize that business. Asking for donations, or for some of you, quite frankly, you know, charging for certain things, giving a certain amount, charging for a house cleansing, charging for, you know, training, webinars, whatever the case is. You gotta monetize your business or else your, your business will not grow, it will not prosper, and you will be hungry. You see what I'm saying? You won't make any money. Scared money don't make no money, so... Yo, I'm doing a video, so I'm gonna knock you out. Why you interrupting my video? Have a seat. Gotta get gangsta. That's my nephew, Lil Prophet. Taking him to school this morning. So, if you don't monetize your business, you're not gonna make any money. Okay? And God wants you to be prosperous. God wants you to make money. So, like I said with the post, stop being religious. Right? Stop being hypocritical. Because you know that you would go somewhere and give 40 hours to your boss who ain't saved. And you building his kingdom. You building their ministry. But you ain't building your ministry. There's something wrong with that. Okay? So, ask God for ideas on how to monetize your business. And when he gives you that idea, keep your mouth closed. Don't share it with everybody. Because everybody might not, might not agree. Go forth with the blueprint that he's giving you concerning your business. And work it, baby. Work that. And watch it prosper. Okay, watch everybody benefit, including you and your household. So, scare money don't make no money. Don't be afraid. Stop being afraid to make money as a Christian. Stop being afraid to make money as a spiritual business owner. All right. Some of you are spiritual healers. Some of you are seers and prophets like myself who do who counsel people. People call you all the time from all over the world asking you for a prophetic word. It's time for you to stop being afraid to monetize that business because that's a business that's an anointing that's upon your life that the people are drawing upon you being religious and scared oh i don't want to i'm scared to do this and they're gonna think i'm a false prophet listen let them think what they want to think because guess what they'll pay the lawyer not even for to hire the lawyer but for a consultation they'll pay the lawyer hundreds of dollars they'll pay the hospital the doctor hundreds of dollars they even pay your pastor the visiting preacher so why you the prophet got to be broke? Where does that law come from saying that you must prophesy for free and be broke? Now, don't get it twisted. I'm not charging for prophecy. Don't get it twisted. I'm asking you to value and respect and honor the gift and the anointing that's upon my life that you are pulling upon. Because you come to me asking me for the counsel of the Lord. Let's, let's, not, let's not get this thing misconstrued. It's not about me taking your money. Because it can be anything. It can be provision. Back then in the biblical times, it could have been um, food, you know, lamb. It could have been some cows or some cattle. Some type of exchange. But obviously in this day and age, money makes the world go round. Okay? So it's a light thing for you to do. Man of God, you know, here's a donation. Thank you for that word. I appreciate your word because it's a transaction. When you're coming to me, you're pulling from my spiritual bank account you're pulling from the, the economy in my mantle and when you don't give a when you don't give back that's stealing that's akin to going to a bank and saying yo let me get like hundred thousand dollars and you have not put hundred thousand dollars in the bank that's called robbery they're gonna lock you up so the same rule applies for some of us who are spiritual business owners do not be afraid to monetize your business i'm prophet travis wright apostle travis wright for some of you 
I approve this message or what I'm saying. Stop being afraid. Stop being religious and stop having this false sense of humility. If you are a business owner, you need money to fund your business. Do not be afraid to challenge people to sow and give into that vision. That's my word to you. Stop being afraid. And anybody around you that does not want to sow into your ministry, that just want to pull, 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 say, hey, just trust God, just trust God, you need to get them from around from you because you're going to, all, both of y'all are going to stay broke. And that's the word of the Lord. Both of y'all are going to stay broke. If somebody doesn't, doesn't step up and say, you know what, my gift is worth it, I'm going to start charging, I'm going to start doing a fee, you're going to be broke, and you're going to be hungry, and you're not going to eat. Okay? So don't let nobody push you around. Don't let the... the Christians and, and, and save people bully you around into staying broke. Go get that money. God wants you to get it.